What is up? My name is Bugsy and I'm going to try to contain my excitement because I've been waiting for a new Dragon Ball anime to come out and as of today, October 11th at 1145 Central Standard Time, Dragon Ball Diamond Episode 1 did indeed release on Crunchyroll and it will release on Netflix, I believe next week and the dub will be done in a couple of months. If you are new to the channel, my name is Bugsy and I am a video essay writer, I guess you could say, mainly focused on Dragon Ball, but I'll be covering Dragon Ball Diamond on a weekly basis so you'll have your breakdowns and I think for YouTube members and Patreon members will be doing watch parties and my reaction to the episode and that will drop immediately while the breakdown will drop a day later or even sometime later today. So if you do enjoy today's breakdown, make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the video. First thing I noticed is how amazing the animation is. This is the product of you giving your animation studio, giving everybody the necessary time needed to get the characters looking the way they did. In the beginning, we see two characters who we do not know. What we do know is they are from the Majin world, which is also known as the Demon Realm. We see an evil Kai and a mysterious character rewatching the Buu Saga. So we see that the Getsu, who is a Supreme Kai looking fellow, is the Supreme Kai's younger brother and then the short fella is known as Lord Goma who now proceeds over Demon King as Supreme Leader. We see them re-watching the Buu Saga and at the time I did not know whether or not it was in the current timeline of the Buu Saga or it was after the Buu Saga. However afterwards since they were literally rewinding through time we could see that it was indeed a rewind. And the first thing I have to say is the animation quality that we see from Majin Vegeta, Ultimate Gohan, Super Buu, Regular Buu, Fat Boo, Frieza, Cell, Raditz, like everybody we see looks so well animated and I really would hope that they can go back, redo Dragon Ball Z into like a Kai 2.0, make it shorter with the same animation, better music and you know what I'm saying? I think it'll be do really well for new Dragon Ball fans who don't want to sit there and rewatch the old animation or even the bad pacing. So we see that there is a third character known as Dr. Renzu and I must say Dr. Renzu, you can step on me with them heels baby girl. Relax. And we find out that that is the Getsu sister who appears to be a scientist of some sort because she did mention that King Dodoria gave her unlimited funding for her project. What she does, we do not know, but I'm sure later on in the episodes we will find out. Supreme Lord Goma has three wishes that he's going to make with the Earth Dragon Balls because he cannot use the Dragon Bombs in Demon Realm, which I do believe is very interesting because we assume that the only Dragon Balls that existed were the ones on Earth, but also the ones on Planet Namek. And it's also interesting that the Namekians come from Demon Realm. So I'm hoping that they continue to expand on the lore on the Namekians and even Mr. Popo because as Goma said, if you have pointy ears, it means you are a Majin, a AKA you did come from Demon Realm, which is why they noticed that Vegeta, when he had the Majin symbol on his head, they were not from Demon World because their ears are round. So the first wish that Lord Supreme Goma is going to make when he gets to Earth is to turn the enemies of Boo and their friends into children, ideally around first grade level. And then for the people who are already children, such as Trunks and Gozen, they will be turned into babies. So for the people who were expecting Trunks and Gozen to be teenagers or even adults, I'm sorry you are not getting that read the Dragon Ball Super manga. The second wish is going to be the evil third eye, which I I do believe is very similar to Hihei from Yu Yu Hakusho. Ideally, it gives them a power up. And I'm assuming it's going to have them become better fighters or even just have more power in general. Supreme Lord Goma mentions that Dodoria's father also had that and that the evil third eye has been, I guess you can say, missing for many, many years. There are three different demon worlds, which I'm sure we will be expanding on in the episodes coming. We then learn of Neva Dynamic, who is also in Demon Realm or who I guess has been held hostage and he's one of the last Namekians existing in the Demon Realm. He's a couple thousand years old apparently he is senile he's old he doesn't wash his teeth he doesn't shower like he's down bad and horrendous we see that they cannot go use the dragon ball the demon realm because of the three tagamis that never dynamic created which ideally are protecting the dragon balls so what this tells me is they are not strong whatsoever the getsu or supreme lord goma which is why they had to turn the saiyans and the enemies of boo into children hoping that would give them the advantage which from what i'm seeing is they maybe turn into children they are not losing their fighting prowess or their ability we see that they go into this dimension per se and they are now introduced to a fish looking like ship and the key pin to get to outside world was 0493 now the relevance of this number i do not know however i do believe that this could be the creation or the timeline of when dragon ball z started which would be april of 1993 I will double check that and I'll put the information down in the comment section down below in the pinned comment. If you are still here, make sure to join the Discord if you want to talk more Dragon Ball or even be up to date on what's going to happen with Daima. Now we get fast forward to Trunks' ninth birthday. So Trunks is now nine years old and Krillin talking to Trunks saying, you know, when are you going to grow? And Goku tells him that most Saiyans have a growth spurt at 15 years old. Unfortunately, Vegeta had a growth spurt at 15, but he still remained a little bit tiny. We fast forward and we learn that Supreme Kai and Kabito have indeed unfused, which Goku like, well, why did y'all unfuse? How is that possible? I thought 
that once a Supreme Kai was fused with the Matara earrings, they were stuck for life. We soon find out that the reason that Vegito, a character who was supposed to be stuck by the Matara earrings, or as we can say merged, he was pretty much freed because he entered Majin Buu's stomach. Apparently Majin Buu produces the gas which undoes the Patara earrings effect. Hence why Vegito, once swallowed up by Buu, did indeed get separated. And as I said, this is confirmed after the Buu saga. We do see Vegeta and Goku sparring after they eat. And like I said, the animation looks great. Boma looks fantastic. Baby girl, how you doing? Relax. We see that the Getsu and Supreme Lord Goma end up going to the lookout tower. They talk to Dende and Mr. Popo. They then inform Dende that he is indeed from Demon World, that he's one of the last Namekians. So I'm assuming the Namekians did reside in Demon Realm. Hence why in OG Dragon Ball, Piccolo was known as Demon King. Piccolo. Very interesting. Nice callback. I can appreciate it. And then the, I guess you can say the confirmation of why Vegito being unfused is also answered as well. No more speculations. Lord Goma Degetsu goes to Lookout Tower, inform Mr. Popo, Dende all about this information, and somehow, some way, Neva is able to turn the stone back into the Dragon Balls. I'm assuming this is the power simply he has and that the other Namekians probably forgot how to do. He was able to recall the Dragon Balls on, I guess, stonify them, and then he was able to make a wish obviously because they rewatched the footage and saw how then they made these wishes the first wish we see gets accomplished and then the second wish we do not see the third wish we do not see but we do see at the end of the first episode there is a mysterious character number four who also resides in demon realm which we did see a little bit while we were in demon realm however they did not give him a name this is the breakdown for episode one of dragon ball daima i'm very excited from what we have seen and I do believe that this is going to be a fantastic anime and I highly recommend it for those who have not watched it. It is on Crunchyroll. It will be releasing every Friday at 11.45 Central Standard Time. And this is really good timing because it does not happen during peak time. 11.45 a.m. People are going to be in school. People are going to be at work. So the servers will not crash. Anyways, if you're waiting for the dubbification of this anime, wait about three months because they're having a three episode premiere in the movies, which I will personally be going to see. If you enjoyed today's breakdown, make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe, join the Discord channel. It will be in the description and it's going to be in the pinned comment. And if you want to be around for the watch parties that we have on Discord or even watch my live reaction raw and uncut, make sure to become a YouTube member or even a Patreon member. If not, that is perfectly fine. Thanks for watching the video. Have a fantastic day. And Akira Toriyama Sensei, thank you for this amazing project. And I hope you're resting in peace.